Good morning, class. Good morning, ma'am. Good How morning, today. We're okay. fine. Okay, so Good before go. we start our lesson, let us all stand and who can lead the prayer? Anyone? Yes, Miss Shalok. Let us pray. In the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, who be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our delivery, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sins against us, and bring us to the peace, and deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Okay, thank you. So lay off your seat. Okay, so today, class, before we go to our lesson, so who have an idea about waste management techniques? Anyone? Mom, the yes. three R's technique of waste management. Okay, very good. And how about what is the three R's? Yes, Michelle? Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Okay, so very good. Can we give a round of applause about uh, Michelle? Okay, so now our lesson for today is all about five R's. But before that, Let's have a game first. So we call this game as crossword. Okay. Okay, so you're going to find the hidden word in this thing, okay? So I'll give you only five minutes to do that. So anyone who can come here in front? Yes, Michelle. Okay, bio. What is this? Biodegradable. Biodegradable. Okay, another one. Mom. Yes. Okay, recycle. Okay, so much for that. So now, let's go to our main topic. So, class, do you have? Uh, do you do you observe something in our game? Yes, ma'am. Okay, it's all about the techniques of waste management. Very good. So today our lesson is the five R's techniques. Okay. So the five R's are reduce, reuse, reuse recycle, recycle re repair, and remove, recover. Okay, rather. Okay. So before uh, before we go to other uh, five R R. So let's go to first reduce. So when we say reduce, it means lessen the amount of waste in our environment. So for example, you buy a rechargeable battery instead of a disposable battery. So when you buy a rechargeable battery, you help our environment, um, you help our environment, and then at the same time, you save money. So that is the example of re reduce. Okay, so let's go to the second R. This is reuse. So when we say reuse, reuse means use again. So from uh, for example this this one okay so ito you can use it like a flower vase or you can put the flower or the plants here so nagagamit ulit siya and second example is this, this empty bottle so this empty bottle pwede nating gamitin ito sa maraming paraan parehas na paglagay ng dishwashing liquid or lagyan ng tubig pang pangan sa halaman. So, marami itong magagamit. So, that is reuse. So, another example of reuse. You can give me. Ecobag. Yes, ecobag. Okay, so ecobag, when you buy something, you can use it. Or in another day, you can use it again. So, that is reuse. So, now, let's go to recycle. So, recycle means create new product using the uh, used materials. So who can give me an example of recycle? Popsicle sticks. Okay, very good. So this one, popsicle stick. So instead of throwing it in a garbage can, we can use it like this. So marami pwedeng paggamitan ng popsicle stick. So pwede natin ganito, uh, ano to, ano to, sa tingin niyo ano to? 
flower vase. Flower vase or kung ano man. So, maraming pwedeng paglagyan nito. Okay, so another example of recycle is this empty bottle. So, this one, we can use it as this. Trash can. So, very, ano, very creative. So, pwede natin siyang gamitin sa trash can. Pwede natin gawing parol. Pwede lalagyan ulit ng, ano, ng halaman. So, marami, marami lang pwede paggamitan. So, that is reuse. And then, now, and recover. So, who can give me an example of recover? Plastic. Okay, so plastic, pwede natin gawing crude oil. Or, sa tinatawag natin, Crudo kung sa atin. Okay? So, that is the example. So, and last one is repair. Who can give me an example of repair? A broken chair. Okay, very good. A broken chair. So, pwede natin uh, ilagay ang broken chair sa repair. Kasi kapag nasira siya class, so pwede natin ipaayos, pwede natin uh, magamit ulit. And another example. Who can give me another example? Anyone? Okay, so, for example, a cell phone. So, if a broken cell phone, uh, nasira na, broken, so, pwede natin dalhin siya sa, uh, sa shop na pwede siya i-repair at magagamit ulit natin siya. So, yun ang ating topic for today. So, class, instead of throwing something, yung mga garbage natin sa kung saan-saan lang, Let's throw it. Let's throw it in a right garbage can. So, kasi sa values teach us a good manner. So, if we have a good manner, itatapon natin yung mga basura natin in a right what? Right garbage can. So, kasi showing um simply doing uh simply throwing your your garbage in a right can, pinapakita niya na meron tayong manner. So, nakikita sa ating buhay na isinasabuhin natin kung anong tinuturo sa ano, values. Okay? So, instead of throwing your garbage sa kung saan-saan lang, let's put it in a right what? Right trash can. Okay? So, now, I think you're ready. So, let's answer this. Let's answer this. Okay? So get one full sheet of paper and I am going to give you five minutes only to answer this question, okay? Write the concept of five R's. So what is the five R's again? It is reuse, reuse, reuse recycle, recycle repair, 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 repair. Okay, so write the concept of five R's waste management as described by each importance okay so i'm going to give you five minutes only to do that okay so get one full sheet of paper and then if you're done this is your assignment okay this is your assignment and you're going to pass it next meeting okay Look or think some waste materials at home or schools that could be recycled, reduced, recovered, repaired, and reused. Give three examples each. Okay, so class, that is your assignment, and I hope we're going to pass that next meeting. Okay, so now class dismissed.